Merry Makers, and welcome to your weekly Wednesday work in progress check in, also known as Whip Wednesday. I'm going to apologize off the bat um, because you might hear some background noise because the kids are home. Um, there is no school. Um, what I'm working on, as I've probably stated before in my previous videos, is this shawl. Uh, it is a shawl that uh, I was supposed to have done for Christmas for my mother, but uh, a little of not planning ahead accordingly made it not be finished in time. Um, I'm currently on row 45, I believe. Um, so I'm almost there. Um, I'm on the second set of the Yarn Bee that I bought for this yarn. Uh, I think it's called Pigment and Fibers. The color is, I think, Boho 14. Um, I really enjoy this pattern because it's just, it's not just the same thing over and over. Um, there's no complex, over complicated stitches in my opinion. Um, but like, for example, you've got a shell stitch, right here i don't know if you can see it very well um and then you know you've just got your basic double crochet uh you've got some front post double crochets you've got some uh, gothic stitches it's just i love that every line is different i also like that the pattern is written and charted just in case you have difficulty reading either that way you can kind of double check yourself. Um, it is a pattern written by Red Teapot Atelier. Um, I've linked to them before, but I will link to them again because they're a great designer. Um, you could probably do this shawl in one color, but most of what I've seen other people do is either a uh, yarn that is a gradient in and of itself or several different yarns that go together as a gradient um, and that every shawl is lovely um, if you have Instagram I highly recommend uh, searching for uh, this shawl and looking at just all the very different ways that this shawl turns out with different yarns um, as soon as I get this done, I'm going to be starting on a lovey for my friend who is due with her baby in March. Surely that wouldn't take me too long, hopefully. I mean, it's just a small wolf in a small blanket. Um, so hopefully we'll get that done before she gets done. Um, in the meantime, I hope to see you come Monday, Merrymakers. Ciao!